Time now to turn to the brilliant Brad and his three brilliant minutes with some news that I am particularly interested in. Chris, over the last... I mean, I'm always interested in your news. Let me just <laughs> preface that. But this Good one, one. Good you one. got me. <laughs> Over the last couple of months, we've heard about a certain brand of eye drops that contains some contaminated things and people were getting eye infections and stuff like that. This is just the opposite kind of story. This is a good story about eye drops. Okay. okay? So here it is. Eye drops slow nearsightedness progression in kids. So says this study that was done in part by the Ohio State University. It's been an ongoing three year study. Okay. Before we get to the actual study, I do need to point out what nearsightedness is for people who don't know. It's an elongation of the eyeball, so when light comes in and passes through the lens, instead of focusing on the retina, it focuses before the retina, and that's why your vision is not real sharp, okay? okay. So with that in mind, take a look at this. Currently, one in three adults worldwide are nearsighted. And by 2050, they expect that number to be 50%. And the main reason for that increase, yes, all those screens and all of that close-up vision we are all participating in. There's only currently one federally approved contact lens that can slow the progression of nearsightedness, but currently no pharmaceuticals here in the U.S. or in Europe, but there are some in other countries. Hold that thought. We'll get to that as well, okay? So let's take a look at the study. It was an impressive study done Cadillac style, the best okay. it could be, okay? Double masks, meaning both the doctors and the patients, the kids, nobody knew who was getting the real thing, okay. okay? So with that said, they looked at this drug, atropine. Have you ever been to the eye doctor where they put drops in your eyes and your eyes become dilated? Yeah, yeah. yeah all the that's, time. <laughs> that's what atropine is. But really? this is a very diluted solution of it, okay? okay? But the problem with it is when your eyes are dilated, you're very sensitive to light and your vision itself does sure. not focus it's, very it's well, a it's wonky. a little blurry, yeah. right? Okay, so what they did is they took 489 children aged 6 to 10. They got one drop per eye at bedtime because that effect of being light, light sensitive, sensitive and everything is, war is worn off by the time you wake up. But you still get the advantage of what this drug does and it essentially slows the elongation of the eyeball. The best solution was the lowest solution, okay. so that's probably a good thing. And it's significantly slowed, as I mentioned, that elongation of the eye and fewer eyeglass prescription changes for kids that were wearing glasses. So, so far, so sure. good. It's safe and well tolerated. Also good. So, yep. So here's <laughs> where they are now. They're evaluating how the eyes respond when the treatment is over. Because they don't oh. know, is this something you have to keep up sure. to adulthood? Or can you, is there some carryover where you don't need eye drops? So we don't know yet, okay? So that's only half of it. But if it's federally approved, they say that it would be like a single use packaging and you just use it every night in each eye. And I should mention, Canada has already approved it. They're already okay. using it in Canada. So it's probably going to be approved and something up and coming and it's something I wish I had as a kid. <laughs> a little late now. Yeah, right, amen. <laughs> All right, Brad, thanks so yeah. much. We'll see you again tomorrow.